is my review of the Lego City Coast Guard 4WD and Speedboat, or whatever it's called, set number 7737. As you can see here, it has so it has uh, one figure, a standard issued uh, lifeguard with the normal uh, jacket and blue cap. Uh, and you also get, of course, as always, the badge, the very big zip, the two little zips, and a radio. Um, the face is a little bit different, which I do like, compared to what they do with the just the smiley face and silver glasses. That's good. And on to the 4WD. The truck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as you can see here, what you'd notice straight away is the new design. Well, it's not new, they've been using it for quite a while, Lego. It's the new type of car design. I'll show you, compare it. So here is a set from the uh, gas station, set number 7993. Um, basically they've got the same details and basic design, just different from the specifications of the model set. So really, it just looks awesome. Uh, you got the new slanted windows, blue screen windows, and it's a one seater. But for seven ninety nine, this is a very good set. And I don't know if you've noticed, but with all Lego sets that have cars with number plates on, they always have the number plates are always based around their uh, set numbers, and they have usually two numbers in front of it. I don't know what they stand for, but maybe they're random, or they might be telling you something. Really not sure you got another one back here. There you get two headlights. They you move up and down. Side to side. A radio, which is pretty fancy. I didn't expect. Uh, the only problem is the wheels. You can fit your finger through a gap. The wheels and the head of wheels things. It cover the wheels. Uh, it's a little far down, I don't know if you know this compared to this. Uh, there's a big difference. And I think it's because of its terrain that needs to bounce about a little. And that's what it would look like in life. I'm really not sure, but I don't like that. And here is the speed of back boat. It's actually a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, you actually get a life jacket which attaches itself to the boat. You can actually fit someone in here. That little man. And yeah, you put his hands on there and do what you like. Um, it's got quite a slick design. And uh, it looks really cool. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it doesn't have those studs that... I don't know if this set's got any, but those flat rounded studs help it move through the, um, through the floor, ground, water, whatever. That's pretty good. And here, oh, and I forgot to mention, it carries this. I think you gathered that, self explanatory. Um, here's the diving equipment. You've got the flipper, flipper flops, whatever they're called. The helmet, the mask, and the gas tank. And of course, I could just show you where the speedboat goes. And another number plate. Three more number plates than you usually get. Um, overall, I think this set's definitely worth its money, $7.99. And I give this a 9 out of 10, simply because the wheels aren't as are too far down from the body of the car um, I'm guessing it's because of the terrain it has to bounce about through otherwise 
Um, this set's a great set. Recommend buying it. It's very cheap. And see you next time.